Hey there, Kara here from Simply Seasonal, and today I'm here to talk about the Spring Buddha Bowl, which is in our cookbook, which you can find at simply-seasonal.com slash cookbook. And as you will find, this recipe goes along with our gut health and poop episode. And um, Buddha Bowls are something that I, I kind of just give it a name when I throw everything together. It's like dinner has to have a name, so I tried to just give it a name, but it's basically just taking what you have in the fridge and throw them in there. Of course, it is important to have a stocked fridge to make something like this. And joining a CSA or a co-op is a perfect way to do this because then you look at all these veggies and you go, what do I do with this? Well, let's make a Buddha bowl. Um, we also have a winter Buddha bowl in the cookbook. And if you'll notice, the winter Buddha bowl is more like an ancient grain bowl because it has that base of the grain. But in the spring, it's a great time to um, take a break from carbohydrates and lighten up and let your body burn off those glucose stores, um, drop any excess weight from the winter. Um, it's also a great time to bring in a lot of leafy greens, bitter herbs, um, spices, things like this. Um, asparagus, we'll get into it. Um, and these are all the foods that are really going to help with um, liver detoxification and cleansing and clearing like our job is to do in the springtime. So basically the difference between the, um, between the winter Buddha bowl and the spring Buddha bowl is the spring one is gonna start with a giant, and I'm talking like unlimited amount of greens. So, you know, if you think you're gonna be hungry afterwards from whatever you built, you didn't add enough greens because these will really fill you up and they're filling you up with nutrients, not just bulk, right? So we don't just want the volume. We want things that are full of nutrients because that's what's going to tell your body that you're full. So make it gigantic. You know, when you go to a restaurant and they give you this gigantic salad, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to eat the whole thing. But then you do and you gobble it down and you're so full at the end. So make this for yourself at home. Now, you can add all sorts of spring vegetables to this. Um, so I have some steamed asparagus left over from dinner that I'm definitely going to put some of that on top. I have some dandelion greens, which are a little bit more difficult to incorporate into meals because they are quite bitter. So this is a great time when you're mixing it with all these different flavors to just throw some dandelion in there and I won't even notice so much the bitterness because it's gonna have avocado and pesto and maybe some goat cheese, right? So it's like, ah, and how about some sweet potatoes? I love keeping roasted, just chunked up sweet potatoes, roast them in the oven. These are a great thing to have ready to go in the fridge. If you're like, I'm looking for something sweet, look, you can just kind of snack on these right out of the fridge. They taste so good. And they're also great to add to your food bowls. Great fiber great for your gut health. Um, artichokes are one of those astringent, really cleansing vegetables for the spring. So I'm gonna put some of those in here. And um, it's great to add some sprouts. Here I have these beautiful microgreens that I got from my co-op. We also wanna think about different textures. So you want crunchy and creamy and you know salty and sour and bring in all the flavors, all the textures. Um, you can put a protein on here. It's Spring is a really nice time to lay off um, the animal protein as well. I don't lay off it completely, but I do like to back off on it. So here's a great way to just have a vegetarian meal. So you might want to add some beans. Um, I'm going to add some sunflower seeds to this bowl and um, some radish and carrot is a really nice spring veggie. They can be a little harsh to eat as a whole. So I'm just gonna grate it right on there. It's a beautiful watermelon radish, so it's got some pretty color. And I'm also gonna put some shredded carrot. And then it's really important to add some fats because this is what's really gonna complete the meal and make it feel whole and filling. Um, so
So you can make a simple dressing with olive oil and lemon. You can use um, tahini, which is ground sesame, which is used for, to make hummus. Um, a tahini dressing is a great topping for this. You can add some goat cheese. Um, I'm going to use some goat cheese and I have some pesto left over, um, but we do get a chimichurri recipe, which is perfect. So it's basically just oil and herbs that you're drizzling over this would be amazing. So you can really get creative. I'm definitely going to put some avocado on this. This is going to be a beautiful bowl. Um, as you can see, it just used everything I had. You can also add fermented foods, a bit of sauerkraut on there. You have all your food groups in there. You're going to feel really good. Get creative. Give it a try. Give it a theme. Make it a Greek Buddha bowl, an Asian Buddha bowl, right? So like we can use our leftovers and kind of gear in towards that. And, um, and that's about all I have for today. So make sure you're following us at Simply Seasonal Cooking Show. Um, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And head to our website, simply-seasonal.com. Sign up for emails. Sorry about the doggies. <laughs> and um, look for our cookbook on the cookbook link. See you next time. Bye.